What's up my Ponyos, Andy Tech Influence here. Excited to finally go over the Tele 58mm T-Series moment lens here. It's really exciting to be able to finally get my hands on this thing that's been in the making for so long. I've reviewed the wide here, and I've also reviewed the anamorphic, so make sure you check those out here down below or up above. Moment really pioneered this space here when they created their trifecta, which was the anamorphic, the Tele, and the wide. Now, the anamorphic came a little bit later. Nonetheless, I think the Tele 58 millimeter has been the most clear of the lenses here that that moment has come out with. It is my everyday go-to lens that really just makes my content look so much better. I use it for B-roll, I use it for vlogs. It's the best camera phone lens here with incredible clarity and it has even better bokeh. It's perfect for portraits, it's perfect for scenes that you want to get closer and it's great here to be able to just have as an all-around go-to. With that said here, before we jump into it, Moment did not send this to me complimentary. I spent my own money on this. However, we are sponsored here by the channel sponsor from the folks at Andar. Andar makes genuine leather goods here, full grain leather, it's fantastic. It patinas, it wraps all the way around the phone and it's awesome. They have a bunch of other type of leather goods here. A little bit more on that later at the end of the video. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing here, show you what you're getting yourself into and show it on location. Unboxing is super straightforward here. I really like how they changed up the packaging a little bit last year. The previous model here, the M series, has been a smaller form factor. Now that they've got, wow, this actually is much heavier. I just interrupted myself. This is very, very hefty. I've gone ahead and I've reviewed quite a few lenses here, including Sandmark, including Shift Cam, and now here is the T-Series of Moment. Holy moly, that is massive. This thing is a beast. Sheesh, it's like over a pound in my hand. Now, just in the way of comparison here, as you can see, there is a stark difference between the two. It is massive. I, I wanna say that it's like twice the size here. It's about the same uh, height, but I think obviously it's much, much more round. You've got a much larger lens, much larger piece of glass built in. And then obviously the M mount is much greater here to be able to basically have a, a larger aperture for the lens itself. As you can see here, it's still has that all metal body. It's hefty. You've got a nice hood, which actually can be screwed off here. I believe there's going to be some future accessories here that you can have. And it comes with a nice little carrying case, which is a microfiber cloth here to be able to carry it on the go. You can see here the lens does have a little hole here to be able to add a accessory here for the back. All right, coming up closer here, replacing my Andar case here with a Moment case. You're gonna need to have the T-Series adapter, which I've already replaced here off camera. Okay, now that you're prepped here, let's go ahead and put it on for the first time. Coming up close here. The wing tips are similar to the M mount, but they're just, it's a much larger frame there or mounting system. It's gonna go flush here and give you the 85 on the side. Uh, the, you also have some indicators on the side here depending on which way that you want to operate it. But that's it. That is so smooth. It is massive. I mean, it has got such a larger profile than the previous one. And I mean, heck, if you're gonna be spending as much as you do on the lens, you might as well. Wow. That is massive. It is, it's so heavy. Now, what I would recommend doing here is adding something like this shift cam. I've opted into the creator kit here, which is going to be super vlogging friendly. You can add all these different accessories. It's a little bit thick here, but I think it's a nice go-to with the cold shoe mount, as well as a 5,000 milliamp battery, tripod grip, and shutter button. This case is MagSafe compatible, but it's a little bit close there. You have a really, really tight threshold, so I would be careful definitely. But if you wanted to use this as your running and gun, you can definitely go ahead and grip it. That's what I like about the shift cam here. What I like about the T-Series mobile rig here is that it does have a bunch of different plates here to be able to optimize for whichever gear you want. Look at that. Oh, the B-roll showed how cool it is. This is up close, showing you here that this is a great rig here for running and gunning. You can adjust these thresholds here however you want. You can go ahead and put it landscape and vertical if you want. It does mount, super cool. This is my go-to for content creation. All right, we're here on location and we're gonna be going ahead and showing you guys what the 2X Tele 
58 millimeter is gonna look like here on the T-Series. It is a chonky boy. With that said here, I'm on cinematic mode here so you can see that the lens is obviously already not set up. We're in the exact same position here. I just took off cinematic mode so you can see what the field of view here looks like. My arms are wide stretch and you're getting you know, a really good shot here for your typical run and gun. But if you wanted to have that much more of a cinema quality you want to be able to punch in especially if you're shooting videos of your kids and you're kind of in the stands during sports or if you want to have really cool shots to be able to zoom in while still keeping the fidelity of that 1x on that really awesome sensor shift this is going to be for you so we're going to go ahead here in just a second and we're going to switch on to the tele 58 boom there it is you can see it punches into 58 millimeter i think it looks really really nice now i am cut off just a little bit because i wanted to show you guys all i did was add the lens here and you can see how much it punches in i love how much depth of field that you're seeing here the blurring in the background and the crisp fidelity here of the face now there is one issue with this rig that i have that i showed you that uh, the lens is a little bit too big for MagSafe, so if you are connecting it to a MagSafe product, I would definitely make sure that you have a second support because the lens is so heavy. And if anything gets bumped, it's definitely going to cause problems potentially. So with that said, make sure you that you have a case or you have like a C-clamp to be able to clamp it on to be able to protect your assets. Now this shot here is on the native camera app. As you can see, it looks a little bit different actually. It's actually punching a little bit more. What I like about the Moment app is they are able to customize and cater it here to the specific lens so you can see that there is a little bit of a difference. You can see here now I've got B-roll. This is what my shot looks like. I think it looks really reasonable. I've got this cool shift cam set up here with a cold shoe mount to be able to have my microphone set up into my phone. And then you can see here that I've got the Moment case with the 2X Tele set up there as well. You can switch over here to a run and gun, which I like from the folks at Small Rig. This is their really cool mobile video kit. This is my go-to and what I recommend. And they do have a T-Series mountable system as well. You can do the wide and the tele or, or the anamorphic lens. Here's that arm's reach here with the 2X 58 Tele with the sun in my face. It looks pretty good, it's zoomed in. You got really nice, you know, feel the view here. It, it's able to focus really well. One thing that I did notice is there's definitely a specific focal length. So if you wanted to get macro shots, you actually have to have like a minimum of two, two feet or so before you wanna like get your subject in focus. But I mean, if you're going to be shooting, obviously, shots, more telephoto shots here, then, uh, you know, this is going to be the one for you. Showing you here with it in direct light of the sun and then showing it on my face here, you can see it's still able to focus with low lights and highlights. I think it really does a good job. Andar in Spanish means to carry, and this is my everyday carry here for my iPhone 14, my iPhone 15. Andar features a wide variety of high-end luxury leather goods, including bags, handbags, wallets, cases, watch straps for your Apple Watch, and wallets to boot. I love my Aspen, which comes in a myriad of different colors. If you want to opt into the brown for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, or if you wanted to opt into the camel tan, this is great here to be able to level up. I also have the watch strap, which is a great way to be able to add to your Apple Watch and have luxury on the go. And our sources the leather ethically, and they have excellent customer service in the event you have a question, a concern, or a need. Check out down below in the description for a 15% off code using Tech Influence for a coupon here on your first order. Check out those links as well as they do help out the channel. In conclusion, I think this is a great 
you know, camera set up here for you to be able to have a clean field of view if you want to have some really cool bokeh. Also, if you wanted to be able to have this to be able to shoot those shots that, you know, you, you need an extra 2x on your focal length. Uh, I did have some restrictions with being able to get close up to my subjects because, well, as you know, with a telephoto lens, you need to be able to have a minimum distance. But other than that, I think it's a fantastic piece of hardware. The lens is crafted to perfection, and I think it's just a, a fun way to be able to vlog while still maintaining that awesome clarity of the One X on the iPhone. Don't forget to use Tech Influence down below in the links in the description to get yourself an awesome full grain leather for a bag, for a wallet, for a case here. You name it, it is fantastic to have. 15% off here, you're in your first order. Make sure and check that out. Otherwise, I'm gonna have all the products down below in the links in the description that are affiliate links so you know where my bias is. This is so cool. Some of the shots outside, as you saw, were so great here. I did go on a trip with the kids and I was able to shoot some slow-mo from a distance, still being able to get them you know, when they jumped off the tramp. Nonetheless, this is my go-to here when it's content creation, zoom in, I take this to games. Uh, you know, especially when you're playing sports, you wanna have just that oomph on the One X lens, which is the best on the iPhone. With that said, guys, thanks so much for watching. Andy with Tech Influence, sponsored video. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll catch you on the next one.